Dzień dobry, witam Państwa serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku. Dziś wracamy do Galichino. Dzisiejszy odcinek jednak jest nieco nietypowy, ponieważ mimo iż fabryka ta znajduje się w Chinach, pomysł na produkt, standardy na produkcji oraz sam właściciel typowo, takie stereotypowo chińskie nie są. A wynika to z tego, iż konstruktorem dziś prezentowanych Wam produktów oraz właścicielem tej fabryki jest mój kolega z Australii, z którym za chwilę porozmawiamy. I tutaj wtrącę jeszcze jedną moją małą prywatę. Proszę Państwa, jeżeli są Państwo zainteresowani sezonowymi produktami na najbliższe tegoroczne lato, to jest jeszcze na to ostatni gwizdek, aby zamówić i otrzymać towar przed sezonem wakacyjnym. Czyli na przykład wiatraki, klimatyzatory, sprzęt rekreacyjny do ogrodów czy na działkę, rowery elektryczne, hulajnogi elektryczne lub też deski... Tu, gdzie ona jest? Tutaj jest. Deski odrzutowe. O co chodzi? Proszę Państwa, widzicie tutaj deskę surfingową. I w ogóle to poczekajcie do końca dzisiejszego materiału, ponieważ na samym końcu pokażę Wam, jak to działa. Ja, 100-kilowy grubas, spróbuję się na to wgrzebać. I tak szczerze mówiąc, nie mam pojęcia, czy mi się to uda. Miałem pewne doświadczenia z windsurfingiem w młodości, ale dzisiaj już jestem znacznie starszy, cięższy. No sportowiec ze mnie nie jest. Ale wracając do tematu, być może zastanawiacie się, po diabła komuś tego typu sprzęt w Polsce, w kraju, w którym raczej ciężko jest ślizgać się na falach. Otóż cały myk polega na tym, że deski te mają wbudowane silniki elektryczne, które pozwolą Wam zasuwać na każdej wodzie jak szaleńcy, wbijać się ostro w zakręty, skakać na falach, a i nawet widziałem, że można całkiem fajnie wybić się w powietrze bez fali. Mamy tutaj deski przeznaczone do spokojnego kruzowania po jeziorze, chilloutowania się. Mamy również takie, które pozwalają nam jak szatani zasuwać w ślizgu po wodzie. A mnie szczególnie przypadła do gustu decha, którą niestety nie możemy teraz zobaczyć w showroomie. Jest to stosunkowo nowy model, nie wiem czy widać. Deska przeznaczona dla wędkarzy. O detalach tego sprzętu opowie Wam właściciel tej fabryki i projektant tych desek. Później przejdziemy do fabryki, a potem zaczniemy testować. Cześć, hej. Hello. Ok, Damien. Welcome to Talk Jetboards. This is our factory here in our showroom. Ok, so what I, what I would like to do is to introduce some of our products that we have on offer at the moment. So I can start with the inflatable products that we have here in front of us. Unfortunately, we don't have the striker sample product here in the showroom, but the striker is our largest paddleboard, which is electric powered, uh, motorized, battery rechargeable uh, fishing product. It's 3.3 meters in length. 70, uh, 97 centimeters in width and it's very buoyant so going fishing on this product is is great fun we have a battery usage uh, up to four hours if you have it on low speed low speed is about three to four kilometers an hour medium speeds about six to seven kilometers an hour and the high speeds can get up to 10 kilometers an hour. So it's only slow, but it's a cruising uh, fishing vessel that's uh, uh, a lot of great fun and you can spend a lot of time on the water. The battery's rechargeable. What all we- How long takes charging? Uh, charging the battery takes two to two and a half hours. Okay. What we have here is a standard paddleboard size electric sup also using the battery also with the jet drive here okay so this product uh, on the water similar to the striker fishing board except it's only three meters in 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 length 76 centimeters in width the battery usage is the same uh, up to four hours on slow speed uh, just up to one hour on high speed battery charging is the same two hours as, as well uh, these inflatable products are very convenient because you can take the air out of them, roll them up, they go into a bag and easily to put into the back of your car and drive off. So it's a very convenient product. Also we have here, which is a new creation, is called the Gromjet. It's a children's jet board. So it's a different style to the other paddle boards where you use a paddle to, to actually steer. 
Here we have the rope handle at the front, okay, and we have the watch remote control where we have uh, the three speed options. Uh, one, two, and three speed. This little board is 2.3 meters in length and 76 centimeters in width. Uh, for a child, it is great fun. They can get up to speeds of 15 to 20 kilometers an hour. 45 minutes usage at high speed, up to one hour in the medium to low speeds. Uh, two and a half hours to charge the battery. So the kids are, uh, are very much enjoying this uh, new little introduction to the jet boarding. It's safe, it's inflatable, uh, and it's a great lot of fun. All right, so now I'll introduce you to our full carbon fiber model, which is called the Rip Snorter. The Rip Snorter you see here on the picture. Okay, this is our faster board, and I would say it's the smallest jet board that is on the market at the moment. It's only 1.68 meters in length and 60 centimeters in width. Has a total weight of 37 kgs with the battery. Recently we have changed the software configuration so we can move the speed from anywhere from 40 kilometers an hour to 60 kilometers an hour. The board also is battery operated. High speed uh, can get a range from 35 to 45 minutes depending how you have the throttle and depending on the wave or the, the wind conditions of the day when you're riding it. Uh, because it's so small, it's easy to maneuver. It's great fun. You can do a lot of jumps. Uh, battery charging is two and a half hours and it's also replaceable as well. So this little product is, is definitely one that the customers who like the, the high speeds, the adrenaline, are thoroughly enjoying. It's also being pushed out to different countries at a, a very affordable price as well. All right, Damien, okay, so what I'm gonna show you here is a new product that we are bringing out and launching quite soon. Uh, this would be a, quite a good addition to the Rip Snorter. Rip Snorter is 168 centimeters. This one here is 176 centimeters. What we find is usually the forum in Europe and uh, in America, their weights are 90, 100 kg. So something with a little bit more buoyancy, a little bit bigger, is better for the bigger guys to be able to ride. What we have next to it here is the old product, which is called the Mongrel. Okay, so that was the old product, which is discontinued at the moment. This is a new product called the Mongrel Second Edition. So this product has been tested at the moment. It's gone through some heavy tests for the last four to five months and we'll be launching this month. So this will be coming available as well. 176 centimeters, 38 kgs total weight. This speed, we can get it up to 55 to 60 kilometers an hour quite easily because it's a little bit uh, larger, a little bit more flotation. It's easier to, to get the power to moving. Uh, battery range is 40 minutes and the battery charging is two and a half hours. Okay, so the third model and the next board that we also will be launching together with the Mongrel second edition is the Extreme. We can see here, this is the old Extreme board. This is 2.2 meters in length and 72 centimeters in width. Okay, this has now been discontinued. Okay, we've upgraded to now this model here, which is a full carbon fiber hull. It's 1.8 centimetres in length and 70 centimetres in width. So once again, it's even more buoyancy. It's easier to ride. The larger riders, the beginner riders, also the rental points where the rental centres where they need to, to rent their products is a great product because within a few minutes, you'll be able to teach your beginner how to stand up, how to get moving because it's, it's uh, quite buoyant and quite stable and easy to ride. The overall weight's 39 kgs. Uh, the battery packs on each of the three models, the Extreme, the Rip Snorter, and the Mongrel Second Edition are all exchangeable, all usable on, the, on each model. So each, each board has a battery range. This one can get up to 50, 55 minutes because it's uh, the larger model. Once again, it's two and a half hours of charging. Okay, great. Uh, that's all, yes? Yeah, that's it. Shall we 
take a walk around the factory. Certainly, certainly, yes. Okay, so what we have here, this is the start of the manufacturing process of uh, the boards, starting here with the, the motor. Okay, the, the motor is, is all produced here, the casing. Uh, some uh, other parts is outsourced to other factories and we bring it in and insert it into the casing here. If we move along, okay, if we move along the line here, uh, we have some new projects uh, that we're working on at the moment, uh, which is a uh, battery powered jet ski. Okay. It's very messy at the moment because we're still in the research and development stage of this. So we don't want to look too closely at the mess that we've made here, but it's a, a new project which we will be getting to. The parts of the, the machine that we're building, where we have the jet drive, the motor, the ECU controller, which is the speed controller, is starting to be assembled around this section here. Okay, we have a lot of prototypes still here. Uh, with new parts and accessories being assembled. Okay, so when we get down to, to this part of the, the factory process, this is where the boards are finished off. So we, we add the, the carbon hull, we, we put in the, the motor inside here. Okay, the ECU speed controller is also inserted, the jet drive is put in at the back, all the screws are closed off. Okay, so no water and all the waterproofing is done. If we have a look around, so there's quite a few products uh, being assembled at the moment and getting ready for package and shipping out to the customers. Which boat is mine? Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Słuchajcie, ja stanąłem raz do połowy. Jest to kupę frajdy, ale nie przewidziałem jednej rzeczy. Ja się troszeczkę martwiłem o moje nogi, bo ponieważ no właściwie to <śmiech> na surfingu głównie nogi muszą pracować. A tu okazuje się, że trzeba mieć siłę jeszcze w łapach konkretną, żeby się na początku wciągnąć przy tej prędkości na deskę. Ale super. Myślę, że jakbym może z dwa dni potrenował to byłyby jakieś fajne efekty coś szpanerskiego do nagrania na YouTube a tak póki co no cóż to życie a jeszcze może dodam trochę na moje usprawiedliwienie na deskach windsurfingowych na których miałem okazję pływać no ich wyporność była znacznie większa oczywiście tutaj nie ma możliwości żeby ta wyporność była żeby te deski były stabilne takie wiecie szalenie stabilne tańczysz i walca i wszystko gra tu nie ma takiej możliwości dlatego, że inaczej po prostu byłby opór prawdopodobnie za duży na wodzie i to nie mogłoby się inaczej rozpędzić ale mimo wszystko 
Gorąco polecam. Fantastyczna zabawa. Płynie do Państwa fotowoltaika. Fotowoltaika i pompy ciepła.